there how are you welcome again we are back as we said we are building on this we are building on this and building on consistency yes so guess who has just graduated me i have graduated with a master's degree from the famous one and only university of nairobi the famous at the famous university of nairobi in kenya so i i have graduated i have um a master's degree in strategic management so you're a potential candidate here yeah. if you want any strategist if you want anyone to lay down projections for your company i am here so today because most of you who, who so my photos on Instagram and my handle is here my Instagram handle go follow me there those who saw me graduate um on Instagram and TikTok have asked me to just share how my journey has been or how my journey was and here I am guys I took four good years to do my masters yes it's like I was taking a whole undergrad you know it's like i was just taking a degree in some course of uh, four years that's why i told you guys if i'm able to just take my child to a private university i will not blink i'll not think twice i'll take my child to that private university so let's start with why i enrolled for a master's degree guys my foundation or my undergrad degree mm, was not in the corporate world it was it wasn't really going to put me uh, on the corporate uh, ladder or corporate world you know so i had to go in for us for a master's degree so that i beef up i build up on my um undergraduate degree you know so my undergraduate degree is <laughs> a very funny one guess guess my undergrad course down below you know so i wanted to just diverge and build on my professional um sorry on my um what is it called on my training so that it can be along the side of the corporate world um again i was just lucky that i got a job in the corporate business or corporate world despite my degree not being in uh that industry so i know we with within no time they want guys to improve on their papers improve be trained and be qualified you know be trained and be qualified and i felt strategic management was a better course it is very wide it is very open and it will give me uh so many opportunities that i could pick from you know the second thing that really motivated me to go for a master's degree was my parents actually um when i was going in for my undergraduate my i didn't like the course that um my parents had guided me to take you know i wasn't happy about it but um being a firstborn i had my younger ones or my siblings still in high school and my parents just shoved that course down my throat because they felt it was best for me then i know they did uh they had their best interests for me at heart but again it is not a course that i wanted to do and they repeatedly told me i was a weakling in class you know so i don't know i don't know what informed that but it was very evident they felt i was the weak one in terms of academics so i was trying to prove a point you know i was trying to prove a point which i have which i have which i have despite despite the challenges i have done that the third thing was i was looking at uh, now going up the corporate ladder which has happened so it is a good thing because of that uh master certificate and i i look forward to even better better positions better terms you know uh in terms of my employment so that has worked well for me again again it's all about thing it's all about thing having a master's degree at my age you know status that was just my last motivator why i chose to do that um my cousins two of my cousins um actually one is even pursuing his phd right now he has two masters from usiu and university of nairobi actually he really really motivated me 
he encourages me to keep upgrading, keep improving on my academics. Him and his sister, um, two of my favorite cousins, actually were also a motivator. I looked at how um, they, their status, you know, their status was just uh, having a master's is not a bad thing. It, actually, if right now I get a scholarship or a sponsorship for a PhD, I would go in. I'd go in. In. Ha! Huh? They come by me. Ha! Huh? Ha! Huh? Ha! Huh? So I'd go, I'd go in actually for that PhD if actually I have a scholarship. As long as I'm not paying from pocket, I'll take it. Despite the challenges, I'll take it. And that one, I'll be selfish. I'll just be taking it for status. You know, I just want to be doctor. Doctor, you know. So those are some of the motivators or some of the things that it, that propelled me towards the line of taking a master's degree. Now, things you know, you need to know about a uh, master's degree in Kenyan universities. And uh, like three, one is the cost. Masters is very expensive in Kenya, so just save enough. If you're paying from pocket, save enough before you start it. You take 18 units and it's 12,000 per unit. I know right now it's around 14,000 per unit, and you take 18 of those plus um, um, operating costs, you know, like registration, clinic fees, and all that. So ideally, um, the other operating costs or the other admission costs or term, uh, semester costs would be approximately 30 Gs. 30 Gs on the minimum. So plus your units, you take a minimum of two units in a semester for your master's degree. So it's very expensive. You need to plan well. The second thing you need to know about, about uh, taking up your master's degree in Kenya is it is frustrating. So um, it is really, really frustrating if you're in a public university. But if you have thick skin, you will survive it. I am not scaring you. I am just telling you as it is. The third thing, know that it is very, very time consuming and you kind of lose out on the social aspect of your life. So for a very long time, you'll realize, realize most of these classes are after five. So after job hours and then weekends. So even if you go for the evening classes, you must have at least classes for Saturday or Sunday. So they are really time consuming and you kind of miss out on the social aspect of um, your life. So just prepare yourself, like say for three years, you'll be missing out on hanging out with your friends, going out for parties or weddings or family events, you know. Um, again, masters need you to really uh, deny yourself so much. So you give yourself all to the program until you finish the course. Now, one last bit on what you need to know about your masters is when you get to the defense bit of your project, the defense bit where you have now done your thesis and you come for the first defense before you go for data collection. Dude, dude, let me tell you, my inner. Ha, it's, that, is, that is a stage where you are, you are literally talking to the rock of ages. You know the rock of ages, the way you can hit a rock and you are asking it to give you water and it cannot. It's like you're asking for water from a rock. But not to scare you, you can do this. If I did it, you can do this. So there's that first defense for chapter 1, 2, and 3. Yes, before now you go for data collection, then come defend your data with the whole document now. So what you need to know is it is very, very involving, very cost, uh, very costly. So you'll spend so much depending on your data collection tool. Like for me, it was questionnaires. No, mine was interviewing. So I had to go out and ask questions and get my respondents who are out of town. So most of the time you realize you are just traveling around to get your respondents, you know. So it is a very, it is very frustrating. And now, and, and, and now for me, um, I just learned later on my choice of supervisor was also shitty. I should have picked on, uh, say, just a different supervisor. So be very careful when you're selecting your supervisor. When you're doing your thesis, be very, very careful when you're selecting your supervisor. I almost threw in the towel. On so many occasions, I almost threw in the towel. You send your, def you send your um, thesis no one acknowledges, no one responds to calls, no one responds to mails. It is very, very frustrating. So just be very sensitive when you're picking, as in be extremely sensitive, selective when you're picking a supervisor, you know? Again, um, the second thing is about about the, uh, the thesis, or oh, the third thing would be just know 
that the second time you're coming to defend now uh, your whole document go with an open mind you own the document if someone has done the document for you yo you have you eh, eh, you don't know what will hit you make sure you've done your document by yourself come defend it now my challenge here was i came to defend my last the last stages and you know what i was sent back I was sent back to revise my document. I was sent back, and this is like three weeks to graduation. I knew I was not, I was not going to make it to the list, you know. So I was I was going to change the whole document. Within three weeks, the documents needed to be ready, shared with my supervisor, approved by moder my moderator, and all that. God bless my moderator. At this point, God bless my moderator as he keeps resting in peace. I, it's so sad he never got to witness my graduation. But Dr. Aranga was very very helpful god bless his soul god bless him even as he watches down on us you know that guy was just god sent so i had three weeks to reverse the whole document and send it back to my supervisor where where where, where, where? honestly i cried i literally cried at this stage so i work on the document and i'm not told when i was going to defend so one day i'm traveling from nairobi and you Actually, I wasn't traveling from Nairobi. I was traveling from Nairobi CBD to the outskirts of Nairobi, and I was using the train. And you know the commuter train, the Nairobi one, it's fits me. Then my supervisor just calls me and says, log in in 10 minutes and defend your document. I'm like, wait, I sent you a revised document. You didn't even look at it. You didn't even acknowledge receipt. You, you know what I did? I got into the train, wore my earphones, Remember, guys in the train are just looking at you. I was slaughtered in the train by the panelists, but I, 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 I was sure of what I, corrections I had done. So I sailed through, you know. So just know that the defense beat will throw you under the bus very fast, very fast. And the possibilities of you being sent away to go redo your document is very, very high. So just develop a thick, a thick skin for that season. Try as much as possible and get a flexible suit. You know, someone who is very present, student-oriented, ready to help you and walk with you throughout the journey. Again, a big shout-out to one of our supervisors in Mombasa. Um, he was really, really helpful, Dr. Hamza. That guy, he was really, really helpful and there for students. So shout-out to you, Doc if you ever watch this so those are the things that you really need to know when you're getting yourself into a master's program in the kenyan public universities but other than that it is a course that you can take it is a good thing doing your master's is a good thing it elevates you career-wise it places you in a certain level even in the corporate world or your field of work again it really allows you to network most of these master's classes in PhD have very mature people, people you can network, senior in, uh, senior po they, take, they occupy senior positions in these companies. So it's a plus for you when you take a master's degree. Your network grows. If you capitalize on your network, you grow very fast. Most of these guys are MDs, CEOs, um, they are owners of companies that they can even easily give you positions. They are great um, people in the society. So, yeah, you network. And from it, actually, for us, we came up with an invest investment group. Pili, what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you? So we came up with an investment group that is still active to date. So it comes with so many things um, under it, you know? So go in, take those master's degree, go. These are things you can do. They are not cut for specific people. And one last bit is um, when you graduate, you really feel good. You feel good, you feel good, you know? So tell me what you think about this experience down below, just, Feel free to share your your reactions. You know, have you t have you done a PhD? Have you done a master's in Kenya or any other country? Feel free to interact down here and follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Till then, or uh, let me meet you guys again on the next upload. Other than that, let me go take my tea.